Hello, YouTubers, and welcome back to some more Boss Crushers. Today we will be trying out the Crystal Keeper with, uh, what do we have here? The energy system of the Keeper. Yeah, so when you pick up this blob as part of the energy returns to you and forms a shield, whereas another part spills off on the form of a shot of a chain lightning killing the closest enemy. Periodically, it discards excess blobs of energy. Yeah, I have no idea how it works. Greed? Let's re-roll the greed. Oh, can't. Okay. Um, I guess I think I already re-rolled. But we will take the greed here. It increases maximum health by 2 for every 10 gold in storage, probably. And we're Strength playing at the highest the difficulty. Ooh. Ooh. Looks cool. Talents, we can go in here and buy new stuff. We have one point. More spell power. Doctrine of concentration increases critical chance. I like that you kind of build it up over time. Training rooms increases maximum health. I think more healing would be a really good thing. So we will buy into that. All right. Now what do we have here? We have electric ball. Which is the main attack. 0 0.8 second cooldown launches an electric sphere in the specified direction. When a target is hit, deals 38 plus 2 in spell power. I missed ones there, so let's go here. God damn it. Ha. I don't want to miss. Well, I suppose you could count that into the DPS if it's easy to miss with the weapon. Okay, so we are landing at about 60, which I think is the same as we had in the, with the other weapon. No, it's gradually lowering though, over time. All right, so 56 DPS. Then we have multi lightning, shoots lightning when it, when it hit an enemy, deals 85 plus one damage and is branched into the next enemies. Again, good for clearing a uh, mobs but not for clearing bosses and when we have an uh, energy ray as an ultimate releases a ray of energy when it hits enemies deal uh 19 plus damage uh, each 0 0.1 second and it, there's no indication of how long it lasts either but presumably the two seconds that it is on cooldown maybe if that's the case you need to multiply it by 20 in which case it's like 400, that's probably not right. All right, uh, and well, let's go on uh, into a dungeon and uh, crush a boss. This is Man's Valley, Lava Forge or Green Ruins. Let's, uh, let's start with Lava Forge this time. And here we go. I still haven't gotten a run where I complete all three of those uh, dungeons so i'm wondering what happens if you do maybe you'll get to crush a really big boss and then it sort of ends like a in, dangerous in dungeon. place worth being careful worth being careful always we have a fight on our hands seems to have a decent range on the weapon here Some uh, flamethrower action. Okay, room cleared. We got a shop. Um, but upon the path of glory, huh? Find your destiny. Maximum health is increased by ten. For every two gold, is that how it was? Or two for it? Hmm. No, two for every ten gold. So it's increased by ten right now. Let's keep an eye on the maximum health here. Uh, so I think I don't want to spend gold for the most part. I don't know. Excellent. Oh, we got healing in a chest. Oh, I spent the key on the chest on the first chest we found. Oh well. And we just got a really useful, useless thing. Right, and I need 
Oh. Nice. So I get a shield and it deals damage to enemies. What is this? It's a glitch. It's a glitch. Invisible enemies. I don't think that's intentional. Yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm not only am I gaining maximum health, but I'm also gaining the life that needs to fill that maximum health gap. So I'm in fact healing by gaining money here. Oh, and I took damage there, okay. And now I'm healing. What for? We should have a restoration. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll keep going. Use the chain lightning early. And these guys are easy. Just like the explorers in Deep Rock Galactic. They only really become a problem when you're already pressured. There was some chain lightning there that worked out. Here's a blob of energy that I can go and pick up. It does stuff for me. Very cool. That was that room. We are healing again. Not sure why. Lightning, how many times? I can do it three times per room. Do it again. Oh, and we got a free chest. Nice. Lots of money and a key. Nice. And yeah, we're just gaining maximum health by collecting all this gold, which is a pretty good thing. Oh boy. Got some, uh, I think, glitches, but I'm not sure. It might just be invisible enemies. Doesn't make much sense to make them invisible if you see their health bar anyway. Oh, run away. Some healing here. Uh, and, oh, we got a level up. Oh, we have two level ups. Ah, I need to keep an eye on it. Best defense. I like that one. No, no, not that one. Horror. If you hit target using your main ability, there's a chance that your target will fall into horror. I don't like that kind of thing. I need stuff that is good against bosses, as always. Plus, four spell power when learning a new spell. Discipline. And you get spell power for just taking it. I think I like that one. And we can... Ramp up our abilities as we go on. And then we have another here. Time shift. Each time you use a basic skill, you'll have a 3% chance of being able to use an additional skill without spending any mana. Basic skill, so that will be the multi-lightning. That seems really useless. Uh, resist is damage reduction. Then we have soul absor absorber. After killing a mob, you will receive 15 mana, seriously? And then we have a rare one here, a new lease of life. Restores 5% health upon completion of a room. Yes, please. Oh, in the boss room. We'll skip that one for now. So now I have passive regeneration. As long as I keep completing rooms. That is pretty good. That is pretty good, all right feel a good run coming on here. I also really enjoy the character so far. And we oh yeah, our maximum health is insanely high because of all the gold. 
so 5% of that health is more than it would usually be. Some combo right there. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I heal off the blocks? Is that it? Maybe. Yeah. combo -rific. What do we have here? We got a mutation. Increases the susceptibility to potions. And we have a protection potion. Greed. Where do I see this? Filth of Dagon. Mutation. Potions work twice. 5% health must be 5% of maximum health. And since our maximum health is increasing, I think we can get a lot of uh, benefit out of never spending gold in this run. That would be pretty insane. Maybe to buy a really important thing? I don't know. I think the combo is best if we don't spend gold. But of course, I might get tempted by something Take it down the line. We complete it and we heal and we heal and we heal. And I got an achievement for that honey badger. I'm not sure what it means. Yeah, okay, so the blobs of energy heal me too. We really have a healing combo going. Amazing. <laughs> Just gonna check what we have in the shop, though. Golden shell. Large shield. Yeah, we don't need that kind of thing. But now I want potions. Potion of protection. We will spend it before the boss fight, as usual. Maybe I'll even save it. Uh, this is a rare chest, I think. I've never seen this color of chest before. I'm assuming that this is a rare type of chest, so... We'll spend the key and Excellent. got a golden shell, the thing that we were just able to buy. Yeah, and then a Goliath's potion. Increases the amount of damage that is dealt to enemies, not bosses, by 40% for one battle. That is really useless. Oh. And I just got a new job order on my... Uh, Fiber page. <laughs> but that'll be for after the game. So right now I'm on a roll. There's an extra room in here. Oh boy. Kill everything! That's it. Oh, we have this thing! Oh, that is so good! With uh, the combos that I've got going. Use to identify. Alright, I'll use it later. So now we pay a lot of health to get all kinds of things. Here we get summon a demon. Summons a hellhound to your side. Alright, we'll keep going. 100. Just got gold, which gives us maximum health and therefore a little bit of healing. Uh, 200 is a lot. We would, they, that would kill me right now, so I'm gonna go on before we do something like that. I'll use the scroll in the next fight here as the first thing, if it starts a fight. It didn't. It's a shop. Hey, would you be interested? And a scroll shop. Alright. It's a pleasure doing business with you. I think I'll use the scroll in the boss fight. Goliath's potion. Protection potion. Oh, there's a door here. Ah, and it leads to the boss room as well. Summon a demon to your side. Do we use the scroll before opening the door or after? Probably before. I don't want to take any chances. It might be something weird. It healed me. Okay, not gonna complain about that. I'm, I'm curious. Did that... <laughs> Identify a scroll in the shop just in case hey, it was one of the same. In, uh, yeah, so this is a scroll of healing. Knowledge. Scroll of healing level 2. So I think because we just uh, found a scroll of healing, we now know what scrolls of healing do. Because some, someone, I think Petavas, 
commented on my video with that uh, guess and we can now confirm that that is how scrolls work. You need to use them in the dungeon in order to identify them forever. For hope. Hopefully forever. Uh, if we do well against the boss, I can uh, do this thing one more time. Oh. Well, let's see. Goliath, Golden Shield, Protection Potion. Do we do the Protection Potion before the fight? Uh, I'm feeling good, so I'm gonna say no. And the Goliath Potion is not useful. If it's a difficult boss, I might go with the Summon Demon. Can I drag it to the number four? I'll drag it to number one. I'm gonna click two here to see if the Golden Shield is something that I need to activate. It disappeared. So if I click character stats, it's not in here. Huh. Interesting, because I thought it was something that would just a passive once it was uh, in the inventory. Apparently it's usable, but it doesn't give a stat increase or anything, or like a perk. So I don't know. Uh, presumably it is now activated. You can summon a demon in this fight if I feel pressured. All right, boss getting crushed. I will be using the ultimate, of course. Which one is it? It is random. This thing. I think I lost to that one. Destroyer 17, armor 10. That was pretty effective. Chain lightning. Go for the blob. Oh no! Oh, I killed him! Okay. So I got a little bit caught up in all the kinds of things that I was doing during that fight. Oh, and I used a potion. Ah, damn. That was not my intention. I used it twice. Because uh, I was trying to use the multi-lightning, but I forgot that it's on the mouse and not on the keyboard for two. Ha! Um, and I almost died because I was trying to pick up that orb. That was a mistake. Gambit. Let's see, we can increase the cast speed. Which increase, reduces our maximum HP, which is not a good combo with the restoration. But since we have so much maximum HP, maybe it's okay. And then we increase resistance a lot, which is really good. When taking damage, there's a 10% chance. We receive a healing buff. And we get extra 80 HP, Jesus. And when the character takes damage, he receives a buff in resistance for seven seconds. That might be really useful. This one, they are all really good in this case because we have our combo going. This one we can afford because we have high maximum HP. And cast speed is DPS. This I think is decent of course, but not as good because we already have a bunch of healing going but the 80 hp means we get more from the rare trait that we have and then adaption combos well with having a lot of health <sighs> damn my instinct is telling me this one here the gambit i'll go with the gambit this is probably the only case where i could say that the gambit is good Home of negative arrow. What it do? It disappeared. We didn't get anything. Oh, that's a lore thing, I think. Here we have a spell book to learn a random spell, and that should increase my spell power when I do it. So let's. We are at 13. I click it. Now we are at 17. Sweet. And we got fiery fan. Which is a good one, but I really like the multi lightning. So let's see the damages here. The multi lightning is really, really uh, good as far as I've seen so far. Uh, for 30 mana, this one costs 40 mana. Eight projectiles dealing 25. No, I think I like the multi lightning. 
and then beetle figurine summon strong enemies beat them and receive a good reward we will wait until i've healed a little bit before we do something like that uh and then i mean we do have a uh potion of protection right now but i, I might want to go at least to the next dungeon and do a one room or two rooms to get some extra health first so we will do that Let's go up and see if we can unlock anything here. Yep. He at least has an exclamation point. Schemes, tomes. Tome of negative arrow opens the ability negative arrow if I spend some tokens. Opens the ability to summon the elemental. Hmm. Which I have already unlocked, but it didn't really do anything for me. I don't know how that works. And if we check the shop here keys for 250 I don't think that compares to having the extra health that we have right now um, green ruins or lizardman's valley I'm trying to remember what's easier I think the green ruins are the easier one just based on personal experience and now we're gonna try a new thing we have the demon hound that I can summon, and I'm wondering I'm the hell how. To one of these local flowers. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, I don't know how long it sticks around, so we will summon it before going into a room here. There we go. It has health. All right, so it might just die. I right, try to keep it alive. Open sesame. Yeah, it's taking damage. All right. Oh boy. There we go. And I got a healing thing. So now we have lots of healing going on. The Bob here will heal me. Fantastic. No, it's a shield thing. I get it. All right. So we have some extra ablative armor on top of it. I'll go one more room before we activate the beetle figurine. We have two potions of protection going right now, which is pretty cool. Ah, bad timing. Come on, open up. Some healing. Oh, <laughs> a shock. Here's a beetle figurine. Lizard figurine. This one's rare. All right. Well, we'll do it now. Um, this room in here is slightly larger and has more cover. So, beetle figurine. Ah, bad timing. Potion of healing, sweet. Oh, the doggo, no! Fido! Alright. And I'm healing a little. Okay. Uh, let's see. Am I missing something? We're close to leveling again. Fight, but a room fight here. Uh oh, oh boy. Okay, run away. I could use the ultimate for one of the rooms, I think. 
speaking of... There we go. So this one doesn't actually heal me like I thought, but it's worth picking up, I think. Not not after the fight, but during a fight. Scroll on the identified and critical hits potion. Okay, so and potions are nice because of our perk. I'll use the po scroll here. Maximum health and five spell power. Spell power. Open up. Oh, ah oh, man. Got complacent. Never stop moving. Can't hit me, can't hit me. Ah, and it's immune at that point. I was trying to kill it with the orb. Just for flare. More gold. 1000 gold now. Giving us a total of 212 extra maximum health. And we regen for 5% of that every combat, so it's uh, 10 healing per, plus our normal health. You're healing for a little bit more than 20 health per fight. That's a pretty good deal. We don't have any keys, and I can't attack chests, so we have to move on here. Oh no! Oh. Kill everything! <sighs> but I am getting hit every once in a while, which is not too good. Oh, and I completely forgot to level up again, my bad. Medicaster applies buff plus 10 spell power for 30 seconds after raising a heal wound. No, no, no. Adaption might be good. And I don't like this. Adaption or Medicaster since we combo with having high maximum health. This might be it. Uh, can I... No, see the thing is I can't check stats right now. I don't know how much resistance we have at the moment. Uh, that's so annoying. Can I click here? No. Let's go with the dash. Because I don't like this one here, this ability. You don't get a lot of uh, healing wounds during a fight. So adaption works during a fight. When we get hit, you know, usually I panic and get hit again. So then we would get extra resistance for 7 seconds, and then we have 20 resistance as a base, meaning we can take more hits. Resistance is 50 now, reduces damage taken by 33, alright, and we'll go up to 70 when we get hit. Alright, so I have good resistances, because we also took Gambit, and lots of maximum health. High resistance makes each hit point worth more, so that does combo. There was a healing rune in the middle of the fight, of course, we could have used the healing thing. Just keep pressuring until it opens and works. 
go. I need to use the teleport thing. If applicable, it's not in this case because we need to go over here. Taking cover is a legit strategy. Strategy? Strategy. Strategy. Go. Room cleared. On to the next one. Almost level 6. Have to remember to level up when I get it. Uh, yeah, no keys. 250 extra maximum health is so high maximum health, it's amazing. Here's the boss room. Alright, now we will use the teleport. This is where we started, I guess. Oh shit. Ah, she can't dodge when I do that. Okay, that I really need to time it better for when I use my ultimate, because it's really a, a clutch when I do it. It's super powerful. She can't dodge and she moves slower. Which is cool. I just need to remember to work around it. Whoa, who's next? Oh, this thing again. Uh, we will do it for 25 for sure. Money is fine. We'll do it for 50 as well. This will increase my spell spell power. Oh, and I got a level. Rampage. Plus one damage for every 10 enemies killed. 10% um, maximum. And I guess that is until you get hit. But it, even though it's not uh, specified here. For every 10 enemies killed. I, I think the Gift of Nature is worth more for me here. It's, it's rare. Plus 1% damage out of... Like, it's nothing. It's just nothing. And the Gift of Nature, 80 health is really something. And 10% chance of regenerating uh, or to completely... 10% uh, chance of completely ignoring any damage taken. Which also, I think, still combos with my uh, adaption, right? So next hit, then, it has to ch will be reduced damage. And the one that triggers it has a chance of just being regenerated. So chance of zero damage but with a 7 second uh, buff to resistance after it. I think that is correct. I wonder I wonder if this Gift of Nature combos with the damage taken here. Wouldn't that be something? Uh, but I think we should take the boss on before clicking any more buttons here. Is that the dungeon? That's a smaller dungeon, I think. All right. <laughs> Oh, and our spell book. So we have 22 spell po power right now. Just checking that everything's working. 26. And we learned... Energy explosions. Destroys all the shells around the caps caster. Shells. Oh. Oh, this is a new type of power. Shells. Shells is probably... Uh, they mean bullets. Or, uh, yeah. Projectiles. Very interesting. And ho hold on. Dash is zero mana. This one is zero mana. So I can use it freely. Five second cooldown. I don't know how that compares to 
a dodge. And the thing is, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm testing right now here. If you look at it, we are uh, moving around while the screen is open, which means this, this, the game does not pause while I'm on this screen here. So I can't switch it out in a boss fight if I feel like I want to switch it around. So it's either this or the dash. The thing is, the, the shells, is, it, it's a nice thing, but you know what? I can't knock it until I try it, right? So we will do it like this. We'll go in here, we will say potion maximum health for five battles. Drink it. Gives me two of it. So a whole lot, but maximum health hmm. and critical hits. I mean, we have 500 hit points. 500 hit points. No, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do it right now. We will go in and attempt this boss as is. Die! And I have to remember when I use my ultimate, she cannot dodge. That was pretty useful. So was that. Kill these things. Oh, I can't dodge. Oh no, what's going on? Oh no! I must got fear or something. She's not taking any damage, man. And I can't dodge. That's a new attack. Okay, hold on. Ah, too slow. Ah. She's not taking any damage, man. Um I think that's worth it. Ah, I'm dying. I can't do anything. No. Up against the wall, make them Go into the wall. Oh, I got hit. Damn. Yeah. Okay, I can do that. If I go here. Damn it. Oh boy. Seems like it's a waste, but it worked. Run. No! Cool. 
Okay, I have ultimate ready. No! Oh, oh, oh. Fuck, I did it. Wow, I'm sweating. Alright. That was fun. Alright, I like it. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, what was that? Plus five spell power or something? No. We got a twins figurine. Yes, it's not active right now. So if I click one now to use it. Now we're shooting two projectiles. Okay, so we have to activate them like that. And we got a new tome. Spellbook. One. Increases my spell power. And fiery wind. So it's like a flame blast thing. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I think, still think multi lightning is probably just a better one. They already have like a, a beam weapon up close. Yeah. The bullet stopping thing, energy explosion, was okay. Uh, dash. Would have had, would have had helped more. I think so. I think I like dash more. Um, maybe not. I don't know. I, no, the mobility is so important in this game. All right, I'm still alive, which is hard to believe. I felt really pressured in that one. Have some chocolate milk. A dungeoneer's uh, preferred drink. Our boss crusher. All right. Ancient sources of power. So right now we have 800 uh, maximum health because of the potions, which means that um, I heal more for rooms right now. And Goliath's potion increases the amount of damage that is dealt to enemies, not bosses, by 40% for one battle. I'm gonna do it now. Well. No keys. I'm gonna do the, the Goliath's potion because we are really low on health and need to survive a few rooms. We'll do it for the next room here. This is not a five room either, hey, a shop. Would you be interested in... Um, it's Scrolls. a pleasure doing business with you. Another chest. I uh, I don't know. I, I we won't get a lot of chance to play with the energy explosion. So let's play with it now. That we have it. Let's see if it's good. Um, uh, three, two, one. Here's a fight. Drink the potion, Goliath's potion. this now? He's reanimating. So I have to hit him while he's down or what? No, he died that time. Okay. Oh. <laughs> hey, my good man. Keep shooting Step the, right the shopkeepers. Choose. Um, magic money box accumulates additional gold, right? And learn multi lightning. Now, the random spell would probably be okay, but I still think we should just not buy anything. I'm greedy. 
Okay. Let's just go here. And fight is on. I forgot to use my chain lightning during that fight. Or multi lightning. Oh boy. Oh no. Never get backed into a corner like that. And these guys are dangerous. Okay. I think we're going back to the dash. Because that would have saved me in this combat. Um, yeah. The other thing is cool, but mobility is much more important for dodging the melee characters. And it works against the ranged characters too. This. Oh no, I got hit. No, defeat. Oh man. Ah. Uh. I feel like we had a, such a good combo going here. I just needed to heal a lot more. Yeah. Get hit less would be a good solution too. Ooh. Scholarly. You start as a rare uh, perk here. Peter Man. This is cool. And Key Master, you start with the two additional keys. Now, much prefer this one, I think, Peter Man. Well, I'm not sure. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the Crystal Keeper. Uh, yeah, there might be more Bush Crushers coming, I think. I can do at least one more episode. So yeah, uh, let me know if you're enjoying it. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.